chasing fairs on the weekend. Finally got them damn teeth in. Still run around thief and Jasmine Rice. It would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. Yes, for some Jasmine Rice. It would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. You worried about my Rico. Need to worry about Rico. Travel fit to get repo. Worry about the double headed dildo. Jasmine Rice. Would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. Yes, with some jasmine rice. And it would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. Where'd the jasmine rice at? Who got the rice? Who got it? You got it? You got it? Who got the rice? Mm. Some jasmine rice would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. He asked for some jasmine rice, and it would have been nice to have it as a side tonight. You run around tweaking, chasing fairs on the weekend. Finally got them damn teeth in. Still run around thief and Jasmine Rice. It would have been nice to have it as a sign tonight. What's up, y'all? What's up? Good Saturday afternoon, y'all. It's so much shit that's been going on in these Facebook streets and I haven't been around. You know what I'm saying? I could have made time, but I haven't wanted to make time to even get into the shit because, I mean, it's all stupid fuckery. All of it. Um, and avoidable. You know what I'm saying? Um, hi, Lisa Anderson. Hi, Miss Mitchell. Um, before we even get started, just want to let you guys know this is one of the latest units um, that I made. I made one for someone. I actually shipped it out this morning, um, but I made one for myself too. Um, of course, I'm wearing my uh, African prints with my hat, which is just a little razzle dazzle. But these are locks. This is what this is what Cook the Crook locks be trying to do. You know what I'm saying? This is how she be trying to rock her locks, but don't be looking like this. Her locks looking. She need to cut them shits off. Uh, that's what she need to do. But um, this is a full unit. Yes, the hair does go all the way around the back. I like to pull my hair um, up front, but you can do whatever you want. You can put it in the back. You can put it on the sides. You can whatever you want to do. Um, but this is um, one of the latest units that I've made. I've been making a lot of units, lots of orders coming in. Thank you guys so much for the support. I definitely appreciate it. Um, my goal is to have at least three of these in every household in America where a woman is or a man. If you want to wear locks or braids or dreads or whatever, whatever you fancy, it's none of my damn business. But uh, everyone should have these. These are literally a lifesaver. Your hair not done for the holidays. You you decided at last minute you're going to go on over to mama, uh, uh, big mama house, even though you ain't speaking to none of your cousins and all of them. Um, you know, you ain't get your hair done. Go ahead and throw your unit on. You late for work, um, and you, 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 you your natural hair not naturally, uh, it's not hearing, throw your unit on. You got a, a Zoom call, and you just took your braids out, throw your unit on. You are um, sick, and you don't feel like doing, doing your hair, throw your unit on. You lazy, you don't want to do your hair, throw your unit on. You getting chemotherapy for cancer. Shout out to you if that's the case. And your hair's falling out, throw your unit on. You want to give your hair a break? And, you know, from all this, the, the cold weather and the harshness and, you know, all that stuff, um, of the atmosphere, you know, the atmosphere is very dry right now. Uh, and it dries your hair and your skin out. 
protect your hair, put it in a protective style, and throw your unit on. You could take this off as easily as I take this hat off. It's not attached to the hat, so you can wear a hat, a wrap, a scarf, whatever you want, a turban on top of your unit to switch your looks up. You should have at least three of these hanging in your closet to throw on whenever you want. No glues, um, none of that. You don't have to, you know, you're not going to mess your edges up throwing this on because it doesn't sit on your edges. So, um, I mean, it, it, this is, uh, y'all are buying them up and I definitely appreciate it. Katrina people said I could use one today to run my errands. That's what I'm talking about right there. Every woman on this planet has not had her hair done at an inopportune time. Okay. What does that mean? You really need to do something real bad. And you don't have your hair done. That's an inopportune time to not have your hair done. Okay? Yeah. This is an accessory. This is like a hair accessory. I look like my hair is like my, I just got my dreads wrapped and rolled. You know what I'm saying? And locked. I do look like I just got my hair locked up. But I don't. My hair is nice and protected under here. And I look fly as hell. Oh, yes. This, this new look is on the website, too. All right. Um, I need one right now. At, at some point in your life as a woman, some point in the next next six months, you're going to need one of these units. The next week, holidays coming up for, for no reason at all. You, this is good to have to take with you on vacation when you get in the water um, or you're sweating your hair out or whatever it may be. This is good to have on vacation, to take on vacation with you. Your hair get messed up, throw your unit on. So what? You should keep one of these with you at all times. Um, and they're on sale. They're only $85 right now. The regular price is $100. They're on sale for $85. And um, I appreciate the support that you guys have been showing. I've been not going to make any braid, pattern, color, style, length, blah, 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 that you want. All right? Um, we'll talk a little bit more about it um, as we go on. Let me do a little bit of quick housekeeping. Hang on a second. Let me see. There we go. All right. Okay. Don't get blocked. I don't want to block you. That's a Carmen and Tay thing. All right. I don't. I don't just be haphazardly blocking people. Oh, let me put my picture up. Sorry. I'm not just gonna be on here blocking you just because. Um, just because I want to. Because I don't like your name. You know what I'm saying? Or something great. I might be like, if you got a crazy ass name, but like if you come on here talking about some pretty hearts foundation, I'm going to block your ass for that. All right. Um, But I'm not going to just block you like how they just be blindly blocking people. Their new thing now is not blocking people, but pe putting people, there's a feature if you use um, StreamYard, which they all use now because of me, all of them, every last motherfucking one of them. They all use, but that's all good. You know, and StreamYard helps your numbers, obviously, because it's a it's a tool that, you know, you can engage your followers with, et cetera. Y'all welcome. <laughs> anyway, um, Carmen and Tay, they use StreamYard, and they you there's a feature where you can, which I've been using because I've been using StreamYard, but they just finding out about it. Now you don't have they they found out now they don't have to block people because see, they want those numbers. They want you to be there. They're not blocking people now. What they're doing is it's called um, you can mute someone. All right. You can mute someone. That way they can watch your lives. They still count towards your numbers because you didn't delete them off your page. But you they don't have a voice now, which to me is the same thing, because if I don't want your voice on my page, I don't want you looking at my motherfucking page either. I mean, that's just me. I, I don't do the mute thing. I block and ban somebody because if I have to go that far to block and ban you, that means that you violated one of the rules. It's only three rules. Uh, but they they were blocking and banning people for no reason. So now that's what that's that new thing. They done figured out that feature in StreamYard where you can uh, mute someone or ban them from, you know what I'm saying? You can also ban people from your stream, uh, from interacting on your stream, that kind of stuff. Okay, so they don't figure that out. And that's their new favorite thing to do because now they've realized they need the numbers. They can't just be blocking, banning, banning and deleting people all the time. They need the numbers. All right. Um, you got a lot of you. Are, I don't know if you got your notifications, but Facebook is playing with these notifications. This is a big deal because if you don't get your notifications, you don't know that I'm on. 
And if you don't know that I'm on, you're not watching my live. And you're not watching my live. That means my numbers are not accurate because the people who should know, the people who uh, will be notified that I'm on will be on and watching. But they're not because Facebook is playing games with these notifications. I'm telling you, I know for a fact I've helped several people um, go in and it showed that they were um, previously that they were um, their notifications were set. But then for whatever reason, they're not, which is crazy because it affects it, it affects my numbers. I don't know about any other page or how they how what 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 what. But uh, it's crazy. OK, let's see. Let's just be honest. Why watch them eat and no information content? Yeah, because old girl is slow. They playing rain day games. They definitely playing rain day games because over half of my followers probably more. I, I don't want to say that because you know, y'all know I'm a scientist, so I'm not just gonna be sitting up here throwing out random um, statistical numbers and statistics and stuff. Um, but a lot of my followers are not getting the notifications that I'm live. Literally, like they have to hi Debbie. They have to Debbie. I called you yesterday. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see something. I called you about your order. Um, you wanted the box braids number four in the 12 inches. Well, they didn't have, um, 12 inches in the number four. So I will be going to, y'all know I'll go to my favorite beauty supply store. I'm going to be going to a different beauty supply store, um, today when I get off of here shortly. And, um, they have, um, they have a lot more of the shorter selections than my favorite store does. My favorite store, they go from, <laughs> they, they have like 18, 20, you know, those lengths in a lot of the styles that you guys like. But for the shorter styles, I'm going to have to go somewhere else, unfortunately, because they don't carry them. So I just um, saw your name, Debbie, and I wanted, I called you yesterday about it. Um, Timothy said they're definitely playing games. Sometimes I'm getting the notifications after you're halfway through the live. This is what I'm saying. If y'all don't know that I'm live, y'all can't watch the live, which reflects in the numbers. Like somebody need to go reach out to Facebook and um, give, the, you know what I'm saying? Get a, a, a piece of your mind because it's ridiculous. You are so intentional with all you do and I love it. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate that. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, Debbie said 10 or 12 inches in a number four box sprays is fine. I'm going to find what you want today. What I'm going to have to do, I'm not going to be able to get everything that I need from my favorite beauty supply store. All right. Because they just, they only, I mean, nobody can carry every particular, um, you know, uh, every specific style, length, et cetera, et cetera. No store that I know of. I mean, up in New York, we have big stores like that. But here, um, I'm, I'm going to have to go and split between my favorite store and a newer store because... Um, yeah, no, they, they don't have the shorter style. So I'll, I'll get it. Don't worry about it. I'll get it for you. Um, but I'm going to have to go somewhere else to get it. I just wanted to let you know that I did call you yesterday and it went to voicemail. Who else did I call? I called you, Brent, um, you, Miss Debbie, Brenda Wilson. I called you too. You wanted the one B over 30, 12 inches box braids. They don't have 12 inches at my favorite store. They don't have the shorter inches. I'm gonna have to go and get that today from somewhere else. Um, Tina Smith, you wanted the box braids, honey, blonde, and the 18. They don't have that. I'm gonna have to go to another store. Um, Miss Tate, you wanted the box braids and 18 curly ends. They don't have that. LaShawn Harris, box braids, 1B and 16 inches. They don't carry 16 inches. So I have a list. This is just one of the lists. I have a list of some of the orders that I could not fill fill because they don't carry these links or whatever color schemes at my favorite store. So I'm going to have to um, now split my time between two different stores getting, you know, the orders and stuff for you guys. But I did call each and every last one of you. Um, Deborah says she didn't get a notification today. This is why our number is at what, 310? <laughs> Which is crazy for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what other pages do. I'm talking about my page. This is crazy for our page. Deborah says she did not get the notification. She lucked up when she picked up her phone to look. How the fuck people also jump on your live and enjoy your content when they're not getting notified? This is what I need y'all to do. If you're watching this live um, and you didn't get your notifications or if you're watching this on the replay, um, I need you to go in 
to your notification setting. Let me let me hold up because this is crazy to me. Hold on. Let's see. You about to get blocked in bed because you're annoying, sir. I don't. I never even seen you before. <laughs> so, going back to the garden. Rhonda said, "Me either." She didn't get a notification. How would they? How would? How? How am I supposed? To, me either. I just so happen to be scrolling. Okay, let me show you guys something real quick. Hold on. Um. A hearts foundation. We're gonna talk about that today too, because there's a pretty hearts um, foundation that was set up long before Tay's was, and Tay modeled her entire um, everything, the page, the the color scheme, all that after them. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go over here because it's crazy. Um. I don't know why Facebook does that. I have no idea. Maybe no. I don't know. Um, let me see. So if I go, let's see. This is outrageous. Facebook 7. I don't know why it says that, but let's go here because you're playing too many games. Okay, let me unfollow you. Okay, update. All right, and then let me go here. Okay, let me do this right quick. Because this is crazy. I, I, I'm so sick of uh, uh, Facebook playing with me. They don't know how to be original. Yeah, she, I mean, she copied the color scheme, the name, everything. The song said, I didn't either. Didn't get a notification. I didn't get one either. All right, let's go through this right. Somebody else said, I didn't get one as well. That's why we're stuck right now at 300 and something. Normally, when I go live, we have over a thousand people watching our live, but those people won't know to watch live if they're not getting notifications. So let me do this right quick. Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put you over here. Okay. This is what I need y'all to do. All right. This is important. This is, um, so if you go to our page, not this page, this is somebody I follow, but I had to unfollow them to show you guys how it goes. When you go to our main page, I can't do it on our page because I can't follow my own page, all right? But let's say you're on our page, Nandy at the Dark. Go to the main page to the front, and you see the button here. It says follow. Okay, it says following. Click it again. That won't make you unfollow. Click it again, then you go into all these different options, okay? Which is stupid as hell to me. This is where the notification settings are. Instead of Facebook having a notification separated from all of this convoluted mess, they bury it in this feature of the follow feature. And when you think that, let me go out. You think that you hit follow. Okay, I'm following. And now I'm going to get the notifications too. No, that's not enough. When you hit follow, click it again to go into following. All right. This is very important because they're not about to play with my numbers and my, my damn money. Go to where it says notifications. All right. You see where it says live videos. When I go live, click that. And then click all notifications. That's important. This is stupid. This is I, I didn't create this system. If I did, it would be more straightforward. When you go to my website to buy anything off my website, it's very straightforward because I programmed it and I developed it that way. I set all the settings, you know, so that they're user friendly, not Facebook. Okay. Once again, video notifications, make sure you hit all. 
See how I hit all? And it didn't even say, you, not only do you have to hit all, you have to hit update. This is important, y'all. This is why you're not getting your notifications because Facebook is with the fuckery. All right? Go back to following and you got to go back again. Go to live video. And now you see, you'll get all my lives from this page. This is why you're not getting your notifications. All right? I'm just taking a moment to help you, help me help you. Okay? This is very important. All right. Then you go back to following again. Who the hell would know this? Unless somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, unless you're very tech savvy. Then you say, okay, videos. Any videos I upload? Okay, we're getting all notifications for that. Okay, good. Go out. Then content. You want to get all of my content. Anything, anything I post, publish, blah, 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 blah. Hit that, hit all, and hit update. If you hit all and don't hit update, it's not going to save. All right? I just hit update and save. So now it's saved. Okay? You're going to get post notifications. You're not going to just get the highlights once, one or, one or two times when I post them. You're going to get the standard, which is all for them. All right. Um, that's it. And then you also want to um, put me in favorites for your news feed. OK, it, so news feed is when you log on to Facebook and you see all the activity of your friends, family and the pages that you're following posted on your page in a certain order. You want to put me if you put it in default, you know, you I'm not going to be on the top of of your news feed. Go ahead and put me in the favorites, all right? Right here. You'll see everything that I post higher up in your news feed. Otherwise, it'll get buried down into there, down into it. This means that once I go off of live, right, once I'm not live and my video is, is published and posted on the page and um, you log on to Facebook and you see the things that um, you missed while you were away, they all show up on your news feed, right, on your page. Um, if you don't have it set to favorites for me, I could possibly get buried down into your feed and you won't even know that I was live to go and watch the replay, you know, unless you dig for it. Go ahead and hit favorites. This is convoluted. It's stupid as hell. Um, I don't like websites that are not user friendly or features that are not user friendly or don't make sense or leave people confused. Or I thought I did it. This is important. And you got to hit update every single time. All right. So now it's changed from following to now I'm I'm in your favorites. This is what you want. This is what you want to see on our page, on my page. All right. Go to Nandy at the dark and go and hit that follow button and do these steps that I just told you to do. All right. If you click that again, um, you could go in and check your settings. Video, all, all notifications. OK. OK, girl, go out. My live videos. Very important all notifications not just the highlights because that's once in a while you know what i'm saying um suggested live notifications from this page suggested the ones they suggest no fuck no i don't need you to suggest anything facebook all live notifications from this page don't hit the x hit that and then hit update all right i hope this helps y'all because helping you helps me okay so this is just ridiculous I see some of the notifications coming through that um, that you guys are liking and doing different things um, as you're making these changes. This is important, all right? Let me hit stop sharing. Okay, let me scroll down. Um, y'all make sure y'all do those steps. I get all my notifications. I know that's right. It was working before, but it just stopped. Go back in. If it just stopped for you, if you're not getting a notification when I go live, don't be like, oh, I just didn't get one this time. No, go into those features the way I just showed you. Go hit that following button and then go on down to the notifications and make sure you save it every time you select the option because Facebook is playing games. I don't know why. This is ridiculous. I hope I can remember what to do. It's very simple. I just showed you. Um, and if you forget, go back to this video. All right. Let's go up here. Hey, coach, I did not get it. <laughs> Hey coach, I did I did not get it, but I got it now. Okay, awesome. Mm. Okay. I knew something had to be up because we only got 350 something people in our life. And that does not happen. We have that's that's some Carmen and Tate. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what but 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 
but that ain't how it usually go over here. So I knew, yeah, I'm, like people must don't know I'm live. Okay. All right. So let me take this down. Okay, please don't get blocked. I just told y'all how to follow. Why the hell would I want to block you? Okay, I ain't following, get notifications. No stickers. I don't like how they look. They don't do anything to your page. I don't care what you heard. I don't like how they look, period. This is a me thing. This is an Andy thing. Don't put stickers on my page, please. No alarms, bells, whistles trying to get my attention or highlight a comment. Don't do that over here. Do it wherever you want to. Don't do it here, please. All right? I don't like that. I like I like my page to be clean, period. That's it. That's the only reason for any of these. This is a personal preference thing, all right? Um, no influencer names. I mean, just yesterday I was live and y'all was trying to tell me that Darius just got beat up, robbed and killed. Y'all didn't say killed, but one person was like almost murdered. I'm like, what? Listen, I don't want anyone to get hurt and definitely not murdered. You know what I'm saying? I don't care even if it is him or anyone else. You know what I'm saying? Who had their mouth on me talking shit. I don't want them to get killed. Come on now. I'm not a wicked person. But I don't want their name on my damn page either. I don't care if it was my mama who went live. Why would you come over here and tell me my mama's live on her page doing X, Y, and Z? I don't care. I'm on my page working, okay? And not only am I on my page working, that's a, a potential for people to hop off like, what? Oh, your mama almost got uh, murdered? Let me run over there and see what's going on. That's stupid. Why would you go on somebody's page and tell uh, uh, everyone that somebody else is locked or X, Y, and Z? If you do that, your ass going to get blocked and banned. Period. All right? Stop mentioning names on this page and don't come over here telling me what my mama is doing on her page. I don't care. Okay? Not in the moment that I'm live. I don't care. Don't put influencer names on this page. If you do, you're going to get blocked and banned. Period. Uh, and then no BS, please. All right. No BS. They say Miami don't play. We're gonna get we're gonna talk about that. No bullshit. Don't come over here telling me about the Rose Garden, this, that, and the third. What this person said about me, I don't give a fuck. All right. Uh, if you knew and you watching this, like, oh my God, that's Nanny cousin. Yes, I do cuss. Um, educated people cuss all the time. One of my great friends, he is um, he's a surgeon. Okay, he went to Yale University, and um, we get on the phone, he and I cuss, use the N word, and everything else. All right, um, and yes, I'm also a follower of God, so um, uh, God is less concerned about how much I cuss than y'all are, you motherfuckers. Yeah, y'all the ones, not him, okay, because my relationship with him is solid, but you know, it's y'all, not y'all, but you know, the people that oh, she's cussing after she, yeah, I cuss, I love to cuss. I told you guys this many, many times over the past year. Y'all know this about me by now. It doesn't diminish any of my academic achievements whatsoever, okay? Um, don't come over here with the bullshit, all right? I don't give a fuck what anybody is saying about me. They can kiss my motherfucking ass, um, all of them, any of them, every one of them. I don't care. Whoever it is, if it's nobody, I don't care. Whoever. I don't care. Don't come over here telling me what anyone said about me. Because nine times out of ten, y'all already told me in my inbox, and I don't give a fuck. That's how I handle it, okay? With you People people who control you, right? People, listen, let me tell you something. It's not what they call you. It's what you answer to. Anybody in life, all right? It's not what they say about you or the little slide, slick shit. Oh, 19 days, whatever the fuck you saying. Bitch, you can kiss my ass, you, your mama, and all your kids, okay? And I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm definitely going to keep it pushing. The little microaggressions and all that shit, that just goes to show you how simple-minded a person is. Because me, if I have a problem with someone, like a legit for real problem, I'm going to come on here like I have done before, and I'm going to let y'all know. But otherwise, that shit's just noise in the background. That's just some bald head bitch somewhere trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, get you riled up and acknowledge them or drive numbers. That's not how I drive numbers. All right? I get on here and talk my shit about Carmen and Tay. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been incorporating more and more educational and just different um, uh, um, content into onto our page um, as I did at the start. And I've been working full-time my entire professional career, my entire life. October 31st was the last day of my professional corporate job. 
So now I have more time to do things like go and get a colonic and show y'all and take y'all along with me, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, that's what I'm not, that's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in going back and forth with somebody that I don't have a, a legit beef over. If you've never stolen anything from me, okay, um, or, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, fuck my man. Or something crazy. You know, if you haven't done something personally to me, what the fuck am I have a beef with you for? Unless you're Carmen and Tay. Because even though they haven't stolen anything from me, I feel like they have. Because um, I've I've paid money. I've, I've donated to different causes and different families that she's put up. I bought seasonings from her uh, um, from her seasoning line. I've watched her show, which puts money in her pocket. So yeah, I feel like that's stealing from me. Okay? But other than that, No. I'm not gonna get on here. Um, I hate subliminals. Like, right, right. Only a only a punk bitch do subliminals. I don't do subliminals at all. Right now, I'm not doing a subliminal. I'm talking to any bitch walking this earth. Period. I'm not talking about no one person. Let that be known. Because y'all already know how my balls hang low. Okay, they big. I will call a bitch out. They mammy, they kids, they husbands. Um, whatever they doing, I'll call that shit out and put a name on it, which I have done before. So I'm not, I'm not doing the subliminal, subliminal, and anything that I ever say, like how I'd be like, oh, people copying off of me and da 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 with the stream yard and then this and that. I don't have to do a subliminal. I'm thorough as fuck. I will call your name out. All right. And I'll put you on motherfucking blast, whoever you are. So I don't be talking about any one person. I'm talking about any bitch walking this earth, okay? When I be talking my shit, okay? Huh? Fuck y'all for it. And y'all need no one ex is exempt. No one. I'm talking about anyone. And now, if you feel that some of the shit that I'm saying, whoever the fuck you are, you feel that some of the shit that I'm saying um, you know what I'm saying, pertains to you, perhaps that's why you're feeling your panties in a bunch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking to any one person because I know how to address any bitch on this internet or off of it, all right, directly. And when I bite, I'm going to bite real hard. It ain't going to be no little subliminal, little fluffy shit, all right? Yeah, y'all know how I roll. Y'all know how I rock. I, I, I... What's up, Kichi girl? Hey, Kichi girl. Um, coach on one with this disclaimer. No, because um, listen, don't fuck with me, all right? And I won't fuck with you, okay? And I'm gonna let so much shit slide. I'm gonna let shit slide because that's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? But when I fuck back with you, you gonna feel it. In a number of different ways. Trust me. All right? Now, that's all I got to say to that. I am keeping it a buck, 100% right now. I don't got to throw no subliminals at no motherfucking nobody on this internet. I'm on this page by myself. I don't have a, a gaggle. Y'all know what a gaggle is? When you're talking about a bunch of geese, it's a gaggle of geese. I don't have, I don't have a gaggle of bitches behind my back. You know what I'm saying? Encouraging me to do dumb shit on my page or say dumb shit on my page or, you know what I'm saying? Or take shots at people on my page behind the scenes or, you know, encourage me to say, I don't do that. No. When I come on here, I don't have anybody posting on my pages. That way I'm accountable for everything on my page. I don't have nobody in my ear telling me to say this and say that or encouraging me to beef with this person or that person. No, I don't do that. I don't do none of that. And even it, when I call y'all to confirm your orders about, you know, your bags and your, your units and all that stuff, and y'all be bending my ear about all kinds of things, you know what I'm saying, that's going on and that's being said, and what's up with you and this person? Somebody asked me that the other day. Yesterday. Was it yesterday? The day before yesterday. I was calling somebody to confirm their, their unit selections. Y'all make sure y'all go get it. one of these beautiful units, like the one that I'm wearing. You can get any style, color, length, et cetera, you want, even human hair. And you're going to be looking fly when you step out. Somebody was on the phone with me the other day. Now, I called them to confirm their order choices. And they were like, what's up with you and so-and-so? And I was like, I don't have a beef with so-and-so. 
I don't have a beef with anyone, even Carmen and T I mean, my beef with them motherfuckers is lying in court. Like, I, I can, it's up and suck on that. But I was like, well, what do you mean? And so they, um, they proceeded to tell me what they meant and what they were talking about. And like, well, I saw on their page that people said this or she said that, and I ain't hear you say nothing. And I don't know what's going on. If you don't hear me say anything, that doesn't mean I don't know. That doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything other than that shit don't mean anything to me at all. All right. Whatsoever. Because I don't run my page based off of manufactured fucking drama with other content creators. I know what I do. Unless it's Carmen and Tech. I don't do that. Mm -mm. It's a lot of content creators out there. I ate um, chicken and rice. Jamaican chicken and rice for lunch today from yesterday. A lot of content creators out there who, um, look, this is how I always been. I'm going to give you so much latitude, you know what I'm saying? So much rope, so much grace, you know what I'm saying? Before I, before and until I feel like addressing it. And when I do, it's going to be very, very disrespectful. And it's going to hit on so many levels on and offline. Don't fuck with me, all right? When I say offline, I mean court-wise, okay? Because, you know, people like to misconstrue your shit or whatever. Um, don't fuck with me because I'm not fucking with you. And I don't have bitches who scorned in my ear telling me what to say about you. I don't do that. I don't give a fuck what people say, tell me to say about anybody. I'm not going to say anything unless I feel it's something I truly want to say, period. All right? Um, let me see. Cause you're not beefing with nobody. That's it. I don't give a fuck what bitch want to beef with me. I understand. I'm the queen. I get it, but I'm not fucking with you. All right. I'm not fucking with anybody. And again, if you feel some type of way and you watching this or one of you hoes, one of you, one of your hoes are watching this. It could be your girlfriend, boyfriend, or one of your followers. I don't give a fuck. And they go back and be like, oh, Nandy said this and she must've been talking about you. That's the problem right there is them. Because Nandy's not talking about any motherfucking body in particular. I'm talking about every fucking body. Period. Um, Because you're not beefing with nobody. This page is about lying liver lips and edgeless, <laughs> and edgeless edges. Period. That's it! Um, That's what I like about you, coach. I can't roll with these slow, dumb, out of order motherfuckers out here on the internet. Period. So glad you keep it real and stand by what you believe. That's why I'm still here. That's it, y'all. All right, let's move on from that. No BS on this page. That's the bottom, middle, and top line to this whole little soliloquy. All right? Okay. Let me take this down. Let me go over here right quick. Okay, real quick, quick, quick. Disclaimer, everything I say on this page is alleged, allegedly, except that shit that I just said. That's some real shit. It's real talk. And anybody who's a real motherfucker understands what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from, and what I'm saying. All right? Now, if you some bitch somewhere with your face scrunched up like you just sucked on a motherfucking Sour Patch Kid, huh? Or you some bitch somewhere like you got your tampon inserted wrong. You know, when you put a tampon in wrong, that shit hurt. It's all uncomfortable and shit. You somewhere sitting like you don't put your tampon in wrong and it's all uncomfortable for you watching this and, and that's how you feel listening to this, then maybe I am talking about you, whoever the fuck you are, whoever. But I'm not talking about any one bitch or else I will call that name or nigga. I'm talking about everybody, anybody. Okay? All right. Um, so that shit wasn't alleged, allegedly. That was the gospel. Okay? All right. Um, all that other stuff, Carmen and Tay, um, it's all alleged, allegedly, it's all allegations, you know what I'm saying? And I have the ability to be objective, even though they two fucking scumbags who lied to get me thrown in jail, talking about, I was talking about their grandma. She said my grandmother, do what she said in court now, under oath, to get me thrown in jail. Your honor, she said my grandmother was a drug addict. My son is gay. She, oh, I ain't never, I never told y'all this part. I thought of this yesterday. All the lies they was fucking telling. It was so many. I can, yeah, I, I was, this what Tay said. I was raped when I was a young girl. 
when I was uh, a teenager and she made fun of me getting raped, lying ass bitch. And this is why the judge was like, okay, yes, turn yourself in, go down there by seven o'clock, $1,500 today. That's what the judge said. And I had to take myself down to the jail, turn myself in, and then buy myself the fuck out. Huh? That's what she said. When I was young, I got raped. Is what they said in court. And she was on her page making fun of me getting raped. And after the judge heard that, she was like, all right, that's enough. Miss Williams, I agree. Turn yourself in. But it was all lies. All, she calls my son gay on her page. Oh, God, I never did that. Or any of the stuff that she said. They said. But they had to give their claims some kind of teeth. You know what I'm saying? For the judge to get me, um, to, to, to send me to jail. And that's exactly what they did. They lied out their nasty, crusty, infested asses. And that what she said? It was infested. Yeah. You lied out that infested ass ass of yours. Both of them. That's a dirty judge. The judge, I don't know that the judge was dirty. The judge, and they had no proof. They couldn't prove that I called her. They had no proof that I called her son gay. It's not like she had me saying it. They ain't none. These were just lies. They were crying and lying. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Hugging up on each other, like, crying. Ooh, sure. Tell her what else. Ah. Then what they did. Down there lying. And then what? I don't know that the judge was um, dirty. I think that um, she was pressed for time, which is what she told us. She had 15 minutes. We were the last ones in it. It was completely empty, just us. They took up 20 fucking minutes. She only had 15. They took up 20, 25. Then it was my time to speak. And I could, I, what could I, I mean, they kept interrupting me, which of course the judge was like, don't interrupt her. Like she didn't interrupt you. But she was so pressed for time and they lied so well. That shit together was like, the judge was like, all right, go turn yourself in. Yeah, I gotta go. So um, just fucking lying. Um, I forgot to tell y'all that piece, but she definitely said it. Yeah, I don't know when I, crying. When I was a teenager, I got raped. And she was on her be on her page making fun of when I got raped and making fun of that. Just fucking lying, y'all. I can't stand a bitch who lie for no reason. If you lying for something big, like I said, to protect your identity, your uh, 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 your safety, you know what I'm saying? If you got a big ass legal situation going on, yeah, lie. I've done it. Oh, yes. I said, no, that's not me in the pictures. Fuck y'all. I definitely, not y'all, the people who were like having a field day with it. Them. Um, they know who they are. Um, fuck all you motherfuckers. I did say that. My attorney told me not to. My attorney told me to protect the integrity of the case. Don't say shit at all. Yet yeah, I have been telling y'all things piece by piece, and hopefully that hasn't hurt anything. But, um, but yeah, she lied. She definitely lied. Um, hi, Miss Betty. Crook needs to go to jail for lying about being assaulted. And she started the altercation. Um, such a liar. That grandma taught slow motion as well. I've been watching you since your page started. I'm just a silent watcher. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate it. That grandma taught slow motion well. <laughs> um... Yeah, I better not be bringing out the pit bull and coach. I don't be wanting to get vicious on here. I'm only here to talk about Carmen and Tay. I don't have bitches in my ear telling me what to say when I go live about somebody or, or having somebody post shit on my page on some subliminal shit. I don't do that. And people see it and they know what's up. Even if they don't say anything, they know what's up and they know they can only fuck with you but so much because they know you a dirty ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? They know. And again, this ain't for one any one person. This for all you hoes out there who got a problem with me or not. And if you come up, if you if you develop a problem with me later, this for you too. Okay, y'all know I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all know y'all know what's up. Still, coach the judge. Listen to her lies. The judge got to listen to everything people say. They got to listen to testimony. I only have five minutes. And that that didn't even begin to hit the tip of the iceberg. Them hoes was in there lying. Um. Okay. <laughs> Tracy Tree said, girl, the way my husband just looked over at me, <laughs> take me off speaker. That's hilarious. Not the Sour Patch Kids. Now I'm done. Drop my glass of wine. Yeah. 
I give everybody a certain amount of grace. I don't say shit. I let shit go, flow, slide. But when I when I turn around and I bite back, it's going to be lights out for every fucking body and everything. Don't even throw hints. Don't even throw hints. If you have something to say, say it. That's what I'm saying. And keep my motherfucking... I'm not on here fucking with none of you hoes. Okay? And y'all know I'm not talking about you. If you ain't the one who got a fucking problem. This is for anybody who got a problem with me. I don't give a fuck who it is. Anybody. Okay? Not one person. Any, all of them. Any of them. All right? Now, when this shit be hitting, because, oh, they must be talking about me. No, I'm, I, I'm talking about the people who it applies to. And if it don't apply to you, then I'm not fucking talking about you. And if it does, then I'm fucking talking about you, whoever it may be. Yeah, I'm about to get, I was very conservative. Uh, and if you can, was very, I've been very conservative because I have had a corporate job. I'm, I'm a corporate professional. You guys know this. And um, there's always ways things can get back, you know. Um, about you, even though I never say it where I work, but y'all know the industry um, or anything like that. And people are very crafty. Um, so I, I've had to hold, hold back a lot and be as reserved and conservative as um, as 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 much as possible. Although I've had my moments on here. But now that I'm not in the corporate space anymore, I'm free. Yeah. You don't want this. Whoever. My mama. I don't give a fuck who it is. Don't fuck with me. Don't be doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be having this person come and say something to me in my inbox or on, on in my comments or on your fucking page. You keep me the gloves. I, I'm not in the corporate space anymore. That's all I'm going to say. All right. And I don't want to be in any negative space with anyone. All right, this is the part they're going over here. They don't want to hear this part. They want to hear all the other shit I was saying. I don't want to be in any negative space with anyone at all. All right. Um, I don't have a team team of bitches, like I said, in my ear or writing shit for me or saying shit for me. I don't do that because that causes problems. I don't do that. I speak for my own and I say that shit with my chest to anybody. I'm not talking to any one person because if I was, I'm a I'm bad enough to say it. I'm talking to everybody and anybody who it applies to. I don't have holes um, running my shows. No holes run my shows. I run my own shit and I speak my own mind, period. And this is what y'all come for. Y'all come here to hear my rhetoric. You come here for my talent. You come here for my skill and ability. You come here for my humor. You come here for the unique way in which I deliver messages and, and tell stories and do my skits and do my shit. This is all my shit. Y'all come here to see me do me. All right. And y'all go to other pages to see them do them. If it's them. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know the difference. Um, but you know, if you if you hear and you you you, 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 you know what I'm saying, you enjoy my page and my content. Again, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about all the shit that y'all be always bombarding me with about all these other uh instances of people doing fuck shit and saying fuck shit either about me or or this page, or y'all on this page, or whatever it may be. If you don't fucking like it, get the fuck, fuck off my page. All right? Get the fuck off my page. You and your minions. Huh? Get the fuck off my page. Don't fucking come over here. Period. Because I'm about to get real vicious. Y'all thought I was vicious before? Mm -mm. I don't want to be vicious. I want to be sweet. I'm a sweetheart. I'm a lover. Not a fighter, but I definitely can fight. So please stop fucking with me. Stop fucking with the people who follow this page. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they even get in the inbox of people who follow this page or they'll tag, you know, tag a person who follows this page or whatever. Stop. Because I've been very chill. All right. But don't do it. Okay. Um... I promise you, you have to stand on your own and not have no one in your ear with the bullshit. People do do it. They let people get in their ear. And people know. People see what's going on and what's up. Trust me. And one thing you don't want to do is fuck with your um, your viewership and your followers. Whew. Whew. 
a brain freeze. All right. Let's get off of that. I said what I said. And one thing about me, when I come for you, I'm going to come. But please, I'm not trying to come for any motherfucking body. I'm just on my page working. This is my part-time job. And I'm happy to report that I make several, several thousand dollars a month on Facebook alone, just off of the lives, the views, okay? So this is my part-time job. That's more money than people make working their full-time job, leaving the house, going out, sitting in traffic, dealing with motherfuckers in corporate, working every day. I only come on here a few times a week. You know what I'm saying? And this is my part-time job, and it pays me very, very well. Maybe that's what the problem is. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is I'm on here not fucking with anybody other than Carmen and Tay. That's it. And they copy every fucking thing else except that. Stick to your own. Stick to the topic of which, um, you know what I'm saying, people coming to you to listen to. Because people ain't coming to listen to or see you, you know what I'm saying, throw jabs and subliminal and, and, and talk shit about somebody who they, they don't have a problem with. People ain't coming for that. Okay. All right. Um, how I really feel? This ain't even half. A, <laughs> baby, this is this is me. This, on a scale of one through ten, this a two. All right. Um, let me take this down because people will fuck your show up or fuck your page up, getting in your ear, telling you to say shit or doing shit on your behalf or you know what I'm saying. I don't let people do that to me. Fuck that. Mm -mm. Um, all right. Everything I say is alleged. Allegedly, it's all allegations, except that motherfucking ankle you see on the screen. That's not an allegation. Okay. That's an observation. Okay. Those are two totally different things. It's full of gout, hypertension, diabetes, and lifelong bad decisions. Okay. That's what that ankle was puffed up with. Okay. It's full of that. It, it needs to be exfoliated. I mean, this is, and if you're watching like, wow, she's talking about that. This is the person who's always uh, um, with the fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Talking shit about people, uh, uh, scamming homeless people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So yeah, the criticism is, is um, right on point. Um, anything I say is alleged, allegedly, it's all allegations. We don't discriminate on this page. All right. I don't care if you black white come on say it with me puerto ricano mexicano the Lim dominicano colombiano i don't get what you are white black asian indian i love people period okay and um i don't discriminate over here so carmen and tay i don't care what your sexual preference or orientation is okay these are two less one one is a lesbian and the other one is playing along for fake hermes bags ah! can we talk about the fake Hermes bags. Huh? Can we talk about that? Um, the other one's playing along. All right. She's playing, she's she's gay for pay. As they say in jail, she's gay for the stay. <laughs> oh, baby, I wasn't playing none of that shit. Mm -mm. Get your motherfucking funky ass. Mm -mm. No ma'am. Tay's gay for the place, gay for the stay. All right. And uh, if lotion was a crime, that ankle would be in trouble. <laughs> gay for the stay and play, whatever. Um, and I don't care. I don't even care about that. You know, we don't discriminate over here. I'm talking about them not because of their sexual orientation or preference, just because um of the other shit. We we just shining the spotlight on our favorite internet celebrity couple. That's it. All right. Uh, and then and somebody got the nerd head in the y'all. Listen, I've been busy making money offline. Okay, so if I ain't online making money on these lives, please believe I'm making more money than I could ever make on a live offline. Okay, Do, assembling these hair units and doing my bags. But these hair units, I mean, alone, y'all. Thank you for the support again. But um, what was I gonna say? I'm getting old. <laughs> I was going to say, um, we don't discriminate, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I know what I was going to say, because it didn't have anything to do with that. 
somebody got in my inbox. Y'all send me stuff all the time. Clips of people saying this and that and this and above, blah, 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 blah. And somebody told me that somebody said something about, um, I don't know if they said it, if they were on the actual sh- on someone's show or in the comments. Uh, I think they were in the comments. Actually, I know they were in the comments because they sent me um, like a screenshot of it. But y'all send me so much stuff. They were in the screenshot saying um, something like, I was taken up for Carmen and Tay. Um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And talking shit. Another bald head, dry pussy asshole. That's all it was. Um, no, the fuck I wasn't taking up for Carmen and Tay, but y'all didn't. I don't need to tell you guys that. Y'all already know that. You know, you have common sense and intelligence and you have listening skills. Because when I was talking about what happened with that girl with Carmen, um, I, I, w- I was very clear in putting out the disclaimer that I'm not taking up for these two charlatans. What so fucking ever? I'm on the side of what I what I think is right in this instance. And it happened to be that Carmen and Tay were on that side. You know what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with me taking up for these two charlatans. But this is the kind of the uh, 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 um, brainless, you know what I'm saying, rhetoric that goes on and, and, and people feed into it. Not people. This is just one person said that, that I know of. Um, but, you know, the, like people are just complete idiots. They'll take your words and they'll, you know, mix them up and misconstrue what you're trying to say or not trying to say, because I don't have to try to say anything. When I think something, I'm able to articulate my thoughts. Um, they misconstrue what you're saying and they try to make it into something else. I won't fucking take it up for them. I said it's up and it's fucking stuck. What else y'all need to hear? Y'all don't know what that means. That means there's a problem and we never going to get out of it. It's never going to be resolved. I'm going to always have a problem with them for the lying in court. It's up and it's stuck. That's what up and stuck means. Okay. All right. You made it perfectly clear, but I'm not surprised. Just idiots. And they, they take their idiotic comments and they say it, you know what I'm saying, to other idiots. It's just crazy. Um, But even the idiots knew that I wasn't saying X, Y, and Z. I wasn't fucking, t- I wasn't taking up for them. Why would I do that? Okay. And then finally, hold harmless. All right. We're going to have more. Um, y'all saw I was with Lexi yesterday at the... um to get my hydro, uh, my hydro colon hydrotherapy done. And it was, um, I was on her page. I called her a bottom feeder. She said back to me, your mammy. She loved to say, yo mama. That was, she loves yo mama, yo mammy. You're this, you're that. It's just ridiculous. Uh, that's all she can say. You know, that's what she does. She's just an idiot. Um, Okay. Hold harmless. I was, I got my colon cleaned um, yesterday. My stomach feels great. I haven't had any like gassy problems, anything like that. My stomach feels um, great and I will be back uh, to get it done within the next week or so um, to get session two and session three done to get everything out. It's like chipping away, um, as I said, at a rock, right? Um, You chip away, chip away, chip away. And it takes, you might not be able to chip away, you know, in one session, you know, chip it all the way down in one session, but, um, you know, one seating, you have to, you know, go back a couple of times to keep chipping away at a rock. And this is very similar. You're chipping away at all this waste in your body. Um, so yesterday was just day one, stage one, and it, and it went, it, it went well. That's cause she and Mammy. Exactly. You guys make sure you hit the like, the heart, the smiley face, the huggy emoji, please. Um, okay. All right, let's get into some stuff because it's been a minute since I, you know, I've been doing my beauty supply store runs and all that, and that's all great and fine and cute. But we ain't really broke this shit down out here in these Facebook streets in a minute, <clears throat> at least a week or so. All right, listen. You guys like my unit? I made this myself. You couldn't tell anybody that my hair is not done under this cap. It looks like it. You need this in your life. This or some iteration of it. Okay. Box braids, whatever. Um, And right now they're only $85. So make sure you get one before they go up to the regular price of $100, which is still a stupid phenomenal deal. It's almost like giving it away. It's ridiculous. $100. These should at least go for like $225. 
175 minimum. But right now they're on sale for $85. So make sure you get one. The link is pinned below. Thank you for that, Miss Booker. All right, let's get into some cork and took stuff and some other stuff that's been going on. Let's let's talk about Tay first. All right. Let's talk about her first. So, y'all, let me. Mm -mm -mm. Tanesa is the girlfriend of Carmen. Okay, they claim they married Ainot. Denise is the girlfriend of Carmen, and she um, is always coming up with some harebrained scheme to get money out of y'all. Now, me, this is not a hair. This, now, this is hair, okay? This is hair, but it's not a harebrained scheme, okay? This is real hair, and it's no scheme. This is um. Well, this is not real hair, but this is um this is actual hair. Um. They're always coming up with something. She's always coming up with something to get money out of people. It's, it's, it's a raffle. If it's not a raffle, if it's not pre-sales for perfume that never launched and never, I don't even hear anymore about it. Now, not that I watch them all the time because um, I, I just haven't been online to do that. Um, it's always something they're coming up with now. You, oh, well, not now, but the fake page of Feet and Souls, they haven't fed a soul, but they've been collecting lots of money on that page. This is the problem I have with them. I don't know how the fuck people don't understand what the problem is. That that right there alone is enough to have a problem with them. Going um, to the page, go, uh, sending people over to that page to, to support mostly senior citizens who live on a fixed income. We saw that one lady say, hey, I'm on a fixed income and I accidentally sent you $200 to vote. I meant to send two. And I mean, they, they they laughed at it. Carmen reposted it because the lady got in her inbox with it. Um, Tay said, don't do it. And, you know, people was calling the lady a liar and this and that and the third. It's the kind of shit they do, okay? These are the kind of people, the lady said she was on a fixed income. These are the kind of people who support them. This is another reason I have a problem with it, you know? Just lying and misleading those people, the vulnerable people on fixed incomes to get money from them. Okay. So Tay came up. So, I don't know, several months ago, I was saying, because um, you guys are always asking me, hey, where did you get your cup from? Where did you get your mug from? Where did you get this from? I like this. I like that. And I said, you know what? You guys are always asking me. I'm going to start a favorite things on Amazon. Okay. One week later, who the fuck came up with a favorite things on Amazon other than Tay Tay Tay? Oh, they watched the page faithfully to watch it now. Hey, there. Okay, girl. Um. Faithfully, they went over there and they got, uh, and Tay went over there and started a favorite things page. Okay, whatever. This is why I, a lot of shit now, I don't even speak shit that I'm working on, that I did, ideas to give people, none of that shit. Because people fucking bite us. Like, do your own shit. Don't, why? I would never bite off of anyone, ever. If I know you're doing something, I'm going to go the opposite direction with intention, okay? I'm intentionally going to go the opposite, extreme opposite direction because I like to be original. I don't want to do shit that other people don't, period. Or say something other people are saying or, you know, whatever. Tay comes over here and gets all their business advice from us. Everything I say, they do. Okay? And um, it's, it's utterly ridiculous. So she started this favorite things page. And so now, well, let me take a step back. In addition to starting a favorite things page, she also started this fake ass, bullshit ass um, foundation, okay? Prete Hearts Foundation. Now, when she first started this foundation, a bunch of you brought it to my attention. It was already a Pretty Hearts Foundation, and it was the same color scheme, same uh, 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 um, um, everything on the page, you know, the pictures, everything. Tay copied that shit down to a T, sweetheart. And, um, I mean, she carbon copied the, the Pretty Hearts page, right? Which is a, a legit foundation. So, um, she, she, she so-called starts this foundation so she can get money in. Cause you know, she doesn't want to work. She want that soft life. What happened to school? You know what I'm saying? I realize some schools are on a break right now. Cause yeah, I know how school go. Okay, so I realized it's on a fall break, winter break, whatever, blah, blah, blah. maybe not winter, winter comes around like the Christmas time. But um, we'll get into that another time about her and that school shit. But I will say 
that um, she's been creating all these different uh, um, um, catch-alls to get money, as much money as she can get. So she created this so-called Pretty Hearts Foundation. So what she has done is tie the foundation, okay, and the Amazon favorite things together. Let me put this in perspective and break this shit on down as to what it means and what I'm talking about, okay? When you buy something on someone's Amazon storefront, let's say these glasses I'm wearing. I, I say, all right, I'm going to put these glasses on my storefront because they're on Amazon Prime. When you go and buy something off of someone's storefront, um, that person, the, the, the storefront owner gets a percentage of the sale for that item. I mean, it, it's, it's a small amount. It's not a lot. But if you have enough things, you can make a good amount of money. So Tay has tied all of these things to her Amazon storefront. Okay. All, all of these things. Let me let me let me clarify and, and qualify what I'm saying. Tay has decided she's going to start a toy drive for kids. Okay, for Christmas for the holiday. That might seem benign and, and nice and, and kind, but we're talking about Tay here. Okay. We're talking about Tay who sued her friend for 10 grand because she was in a car accident with her, okay? We're talking about Tay, who stole her mother's identity. I'm tired of these I'm tired of these folks talking about this was when she was 17 or 18. This was last year. She had to go and close that account and clear up the money that she fraudulently got in her mother's name. She's been doing this up until right now, recent, okay? Um... So this is the same Tay who took out multiple fraudulent loans in her mother's name, okay, without her consent, knowledge, whatever, and cards and everything else, all right, who's now starting a, a foundation to get money. Let's want to up it up because she's on to up it up, okay. Um, so, you know, she, she starts this foundation and she ties... Uh, starts about this. She starts the um, Toys for Tots. She's like, oh, I want to be collecting toys again for the kids this year. Um, go and buy the toys off my Amazon storefront. Now that's called self-serving. Okay? You're supposed to be serving the people and serving the kids and serving the population and blah, 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 But you're serving yourself because every toy that's so-called donated and purchased, she gets a percentage of. How? That's not what philanthropy is about, all right? That's not what a, being selfless is about. Making a dollar off of the money that you're collecting for the dis, you know, the, the downtrodden, you know, uh, unfortunate, underprivileged, whatever, is despicable to me. If you're going to do something for that 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 population, do it from your heart and without um, trying to, to make a dime off of it to serve yourself. Because now... I mean, you're not even supposed to be making a profit, sweetheart. Aren't you a non for profits? Ah, this is you making a profit. You can get in so much trouble. I'm tired of giving y'all motherfucking business advice and, and, and how to get out of business things and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm tired of this. Okay. I went to school to earn my motherfucking degrees. Did y'all? No. I'm tired of giving y'all information from the degrees and education that I have um, acquired over the years. Okay, you're supposed to be a non for profit putting those toys up on that website and you making a profit off of it for you personally is a violation of the 501c3. You ain't know that, huh? Where's a business manager? Where's somebody with some business savvy or some common sense around them? Because they just be out here doing all kind of crazy shit. Okay, and um, is that even legal? It should be reported to Amazon, but. Hi, Miss Shaw. Um, but you know, these are the kinds of things that they do, and 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 they want people to um to support and buy into it, and it's all bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's poppycock. That's all it is. So, um, is it a real fire? I don't know. I haven't even looked into it to see if it's real or not. It might be. I mean, it's not hard to do to get, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So anyway. So she's tied these two together and she's making money off of it. She's making a profit off of it. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's make, she's coming up off of those who are down because that's what they do. Carmen do the same thing. When she go out and so-called feed the homeless, she don't do that shit from her pocket. 
she's making, she's coming up from those who are down. She's making money, hand over fist. She might go and get some, 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 you know what I'm saying? Day old food from somewhere or go get the cheapest food and put it out there for them. But she's keeping the lion's share of the money. This has been well spoken of by people who have witnessed it firsthand or who have been on the receiving end or, or not so receiving end of her collecting money for them. The victims is the, the other term for it. Uh, her ex-wife, her ex-business partner, everyone. Her ex-right-hand person, her admin, Tammy herself. All people who have witnessed her hooking, crooking, stealing, and covering up a killing, okay, for years. Huh? I know I haven't been online lately to remind y'all of all this shit, but this is what it is. So you got to then set up an, another foundation and um, collecting money on behalf of uh, of, of the so-called unfortunate but making a profit off of it herself. She's going to make a profit. That's what she do. <clears throat> So the other thing she's done, <coughs> excuse me, is talking about, and I got a little clip I want to show you, talking about, um, yeah, she got on her proper, her proper voice. Yeah, we're going to be feeding three, it's a fake voice. Because listen, we all have different voices. You have your work voice, especially if, if you worked in corporate. Y'all already know, I've worked corporate my whole life around CEOs, CFOs of all the big companies out here, right? In the same boardroom with them, um, strategizing, um, whatever. And uh, we all have different voices, you know? I, I'm not going to be talking, I'm not going to use my hood vernacular, look, which I love to use because I'm originally from the hood, you know, in a board meeting, you know what I'm saying? With billionaires. I'm not going to do that. Um so we all have our different voices, which you, you're supposed to have. You're you're supposed to be able to cold switch and, and all that kind of stuff. But the voice Tay uses is just a fake motherfucking voice. This is her getting money scheming voice, okay? This is her scheming fake money voice that we about to hear in a second. We, we going to be uh, feeding three families, three families this holiday. Three families? Huh? All the money y'all done collected from that feeding souls page, y'all should be feeding 3,000 fucking families this year of all the money that they've collected. Huh? Three families? Anybody could do that. Not celebrities. They claim they're celebrities. They're rich and famous. She's showing off her, fur, uh, her fake Birkin bag. You know what I'm saying? Her fur, her, uh, You know, she, she, she's showing off all these fake goods, acting like they're real and claiming they're real. And um and doing all this, you know, staying at the Ritz Carlton and y'all only feeding three families out all the money y'all collected in the name of feeding families over the year, over the past year, huh? Let's take a listen. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. We are doing it. Um and voting will close like two minutes before the end because I know that it's super important. So today, um we presented three families at an oncology unit at a hospital here in Houston, Texas with Thanksgiving dinner. Three families were blessed with a Thanksgiving meal um, so that they can enjoy their Thanksgiving without worry, without stress of preparing a meal. So these are children that are undergoing oncology treatments at a local Houston hospital. Of course, you know, due to unfortunate circumstances, I cannot name the hospital, but um, these are children that are undergoing cancer treatment and their families. And so we are, we have blessed the Prite Hearts Foundation along with in partnership with Dr. Lisa Benton have uh, been able to provide meals for three families this Thanksgiving. And um, I couldn't be more proud of the things that the foundation is doing. So make sure you are liking and sharing the live, make sure you're sharing it publicly. Um, much, make sure you're sharing it publicly. Um, much appreciation for that. So today I am working on 
setting up the toys for the tour drive. The information will be pinned on Amazon um, under on and if you have not been following my Amazon page. Okay, stop. Stop. I don't know if you just think everybody is as stupid as your minions and the people you have going to bat for y'all. And, and you know, because they act like they can't see shit that they do wrong at all whatsoever. But we know they all. What well, the boss lady said the other day? Somebody um, sent me something. I don't know if it was in our group that she said it or wherever it was. Boss lady called them all uh, um, the no neck bitch. She called her. Uh, what did she call her? She said she. She's not a therapist or, you know, whatever, whatever she be calling herself a counselor. She is a low life and a bottom feeder masquerading as a counselor. That you can go to church. That The benediction's over after that because she's exactly right. Um, all of Carmen and Tay's um, so-called follower uh, minions and supporters and all of them, they are always giving them a crutch, a crutch on which to lean for their lies and their bullshits and all this, the money that they're stealing from homeless people and uh, and the less fortunate constantly, okay? Since when is Tay, somebody said this, and I agree. Since when is Tay an advocate for kids with cancer? Girl, you barely, barely had a halfway, um, I, I can't even say halfway. You had no, she had no excuse for the lies she told for cancer gain. She had no excuse for the lies she told about, you know, swirling around about her having cancer, not having cancer, them removing the things, a nurse talking about, well, they went in and they removed the things that was infested with the things. Girl. Um, and now and she got so much heat for that from all over the internet. Okay. And rightfully so, as well as right here. Um, then now she's talking about some, she's going to an oncology group to donate three mils, not 300, third, not, not even 30, 300,000. Not all the money they done collected in the name of, you know, the shit they be doing. It's, it's, it, this is crazy to me. This is, this is, um, this is nothing to gloat about. Cause that's why she got on here to say it, to brag about it, to gloat about it. this is nothing. Anybody could do a homeless person can give three, three family, three mils. Y'all supposed to be big shots and collecting all this money to do exactly stuff like this, but you coming up with three fucking uh, meals? Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Three families, I'm done. And with Dr. Lisa's help. Well, Dr. Lisa is one of their so-called followers, and she's not a medical doctor, okay? Now, let me, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, can we talk? Can we keep it real? Can we keep it a buck right now, all right? Let's, let's, let's not get it twisted. Let's be clear. All right, this is no shade and no slight. A doctorate, okay, having your doctorate degree, you know what I'm saying, your PhD is not the same. Well, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to diminish anyone's credits, okay, but having a having a doctorate degree in journalism or a doctorate degree um, in um, philosophy or a doctorate degree, in, even in psychology, because you're not a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist, I-S-T, is a doctor of the mind. Okay, that's a doctor. Doctor, doctor. Having a doctorate degree um, and calling yourself doctor, okay, that's true. You, you have a doctorate degree in, in you know, one of these um, social services fields, That's and that's lovely. If you're out there, shout out to you. Um, but being an MD doctor, are two totally different things, okay? So, and Tay knows she should know this. I don't know if she knows this. She should. But for her to get on here and tell me something, we're partnering up with Dr. Lisa. One of, uh, a Rose Goldie, that right there. I mean, the, the credibility is shot from that alone, the fact that she's one of her followers, okay? Um, and then, talking about Dr. Lisa, she ain't no MD. You know what I'm saying? She might be have a doctorate in something else, but Tay's trying to use that, to, to, you know what I'm saying, use that doctor term to make her cause and, and, and her bullshit seem more believable and more credible, okay? Fuck out of here. Um, Let's see. Can't find any info on that doctor either because she's not, definitely not a, she's not an MD and whatever. 
Um, which I'm not diminishing people who go and get their doctorate in their fields. That's lovely. I'm dead ass serious. I'm talking about Tay right now, how she's trying to hurl that name around. You know what I'm saying? She's hurling it around like, oh, it's Dr. So-and-so. No. <laughs> One of your followers, maybe with an online PhD. Maybe. Nothing wrong with it if you got an online PhD. All right? Chill out. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about Tay trying to once again mislead motherfuckers. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, much is she online? As much as she's online, does she have time to doctor anyone or anything? She's not a doctor. She has a doctorate. Okay. <laughs> mm. Um, okay. She's so transparent, and I don't mean what she messed with. Okay. I just think that's that's absolutely hilarious. That she's talking about some doctor so-and-so trying to give herself credibility. Okay, gal. Does that Dr. Sin took money all the time? That Dr. That Sin took money all the time? I don't know. I, I don't know. Begging the three fee fam three families and eating and shopping every day. That piece right there. That piece right there. Begging for the fee three families or for a toy drive, even a toy drive. But you out at the Ritz Carlton. Carlton, you're out buying fake Birkin bags, Hermes bags, whatever the hell she was trying to fake the bag as, um, and trying to make us think it was real. Um, you know, living this lavish lifestyle, which nothing is wrong with that, but don't get on here begging people for money for homeless people when you're not giving them the money, or you're not, and you feeding three fucking people, not fucking people, but three people out of all the begging y'all been doing and, and all the lavishness y'all been uh, enjoying. But you talking about feeding three families. Child. Who approved that message? Child bye. Um, okay. Let's get off of her for right now. Okay, guys. Let me take this down. Let's get into something. Okay. Now y'all know I don't fuck with anybody but Carmen and Tech. That that's who I get paid to do. That's how the page was started. Um, the, they're the ones who I talk about. But there have been people who um, who also don't like Carmen and Tay, but got their mouth on me. That doesn't make any motherfucking sense. Like, if you don't like Carmen and Tay, and I don't like Carmen and Tay, then I, I would never speak bad just on my own, just speak badly about someone. I'm not going to call you a bitch just for no reason unless you really a bitch or you did something, some bitch shit. I'm not going to call you a motherfucker unless you're a motherfucker and you did something, mother some motherfucking kind of shit. Right? Part of my cursing. But just, just bear with me. So if you don't like a person and I don't like a person, I'm not going to get into it with you or even talk about your transgressions. You know what I'm saying? Because we are fighting for the same thing, putting a spotlight on someone. We don't like, I'm not saying I'm in, I'm an angel, I'm innocent, and you know, bah ba 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 ba. And so how could you shine a spotlight on someone? I'm shining a spot. Nobody's a hundred percent innocent or clean in this world, period. Okay. So just because I'm not an angel don't mean I can't shine a motherfucking spotlight on somebody who's not an angel. Also, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the piece that minions don't be getting it. They're idiots. So I don't, um, okay. Listen, so, um, with that said, I don't be talking about people. Okay. Now, Darius is someone who has had his mouth on me several times, right? Uh, and one time I misunderstood what he was saying, very much so, mostly because you guys were telling me, I don't watch Darius at all. No shade, no, nothing like that. But you guys were like, oh, he said he would, you know, he you know, he wished he knew because he would have bonded you out of jail. And I just sent him a very nice note because I'm a civilized motherfucker, okay? <laughs> I'm a civilized person. And I sent him a note saying, hey, I heard that you said, you know, blah, 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 blah. Thank you. I appreciate that. And he said, oh, okay. And then he got online and talked shit about it. This is what he does. Okay. Let's get on into it now. Because I ain't scared of no motherfucking body. Period. And I mean that. And I'm on my page by myself. I don't bring people on my page to talk shit about other people directly or indirectly. Only a whack, lame ass motherfucker do something like that. I don't do that. Okay. I'm going to come straight here. And I'm, I'm, you're going to get it straight from the source, all right? So 
Darius was, he was being funny. He wasn't serious. Well, I know that now. <laughs> I didn't know that at the time. Okay. So, you know, he's a person who's had his mouth on me when the pictures first came out. You know, he was, I mean, what the fuck you talking? You aren't you a millionaire? Huh? Aren't you supposed to be happy and have a fulfilled life and all that stuff like that? I got a lot going on. And he is a millionaire. He's rich. I'm not gonna take that from him. You know, he he knows how to get a bag. I've always said that. I can be objective on this page. I can not like you and still talk, say something positive about you, right? Which I've done with him on several occasions on this page, knowing that he done had whole lives talking about somebody who um, doesn't, you know, uh, talking about someone who he doesn't have uh, any real qualms with, you know what I'm saying? So um, Darius has done things. He's going to restaurants. He said things. He had that whole falling out with Karina and I did a piece on that. Um, and I talked about how wrong it was, you know, how he did her and, you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I was very vocal about that. Um, it was a very hot trending topic at the time, but I've never gone online to talk about any of his cases. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, any, anything like that, you know, there are lots of cases out there of, uh, different things said about him. Like he didn't pay his port fees one time and all his shit got confiscated. Um, different women talking about how he was a crook. And all of this stuff. I never got online and like drilled down into those stories and talk shit about him. In fact, most of the stuff I said on this page about him has been positive. Oh, he knows how to get a bag. Oh, y'all can say what he want, y'all want about him, but he ain't no fucking, you know, like he knows how to get to the money. You know, I've said things like that about him. Okay. But he he never he never misses an opportunity to talk shit about me, be it on his own page or some other broads page somewhere on the internet. Okay. So Darius got into, uh, I don't talk about him because I'm not on here to talk about him. I'm on here to talk about Carmen and Tay. Although I know lots of things about him, I just don't talk about him. And plus, he don't like Carmen. I don't like Carmen. He don't. Like, he doesn't like Carmen and Tay. I don't like Carmen and Tay. And so as far as I'm concerned, we're moving with the same force, you know, about, about and against that person. Okay. So, um, Darius goes around the country and he samples, he, he purchases food and he samples, I say samples because he can only eat for so much. He had gastric bypass surgery and it's not like he can actually sit and actually get into a meal and it actually enjoy um, a meal, uh, you know, of, unless it's like small little pieces and say, um, you know, take little tastes that he can do here and, you know, off of a whole plate. There's only so much he can he can sample and eat and taste and, and, and critique because he has gastric bypass. But yet and still, he goes around the country because you really can't tell how good something is until you like really get into it. It might be something you ate or drank or whatever before you ate the food. And that first bite or two, you might, you know what I'm saying? It might You might have to actually enjoy a whole plate of food before you can actually critique it. Maybe, depending. Um, so he goes around, it's similar to our restaurant run segment. I don't know when Darius started doing this. I have no idea, but I definitely didn't start our restaurant run segment last year based off of what he was doing. That would like be like him us saying, well, he's doing it because Keith Lee is doing it. I don't think so. I think, you know, um, Darius is doing it because, you know, this is, this is, you know, something that he wanted to do, um, independent of what Keith Lee is doing. Okay. So um, Darius goes around the country and he visits black owned restaurants like we do on our restaurant run segment. It's only black owned restaurants here in Georgia, um, but ours is a bit different. We go in and we talk to the owners, get their history, go behind the scenes. That's our judge that we do here on our restaurant run segment, which we'll have another one coming up very soon. Okay. But so he goes around, he eats, but what Darius does is, he only he he's only going around to black owned restaurants. What he does is um he's very um I can't even say brash. He's very rude, disgruntled, and disrespectful when he doesn't get the right service or the food is not to his liking. Okay. His liking. Just because he doesn't like it, don't mean I won't like it, and, and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So he gets very um crunk in terms. 
um, you know what I'm saying, in his reviews about these places. And sometimes he might go live. I have a little clip for you guys. He might go live sometimes at a restaurant and, um, you know, get turned there and talk about their food there like he did with this last restaurant um, that he reviewed in Miami. So Darius was in Miami and he went to a, re a black owned restaurant out there that specializes in wings and, you know, that kind of thing. And um, when he got there, he didn't like the music blaring. I don't fault him for that. Once again, I could be objective, even though Darius has talked shit and been shady because that's what he does um, towards me. I still can give uh, I can still be objective again when talking about him. Right. He said the music was too loud. I can understand that. I was literally just in a Jamaican restaurant yesterday and they were making me crazy with that loud ass fucking noise. OK, the music was blaring. Yeah, I know. I was very vocal about it and they were acting dumb like they didn't know what the fuck I was talking about, you know. Um, and they then when they did, they turned it down a little bit, then they turned it back up. This is um, poor business um, behavior, okay? This is how you run customers away from your business, like me. I will, that's one of my favorite Jamaican spots. I will never go back there again, ever, because of a simple request to turn the music down. Y'all heard it. And when y'all heard it, it was super loud, but it wasn't. It, that still wasn't it as loud as it was before I even went live. Okay. I can't stand a restaurant. How can I enjoy my meal if the music is, is sitting there blaring and blasting? You cannot. You can. So, um, and I told them this and they didn't care, which is crazy to me because, you know, you have people from other countries who come over here and want to make a better life for themselves, um, you know, off of all the benefits that they get here that we fought for before they ever thought of coming here, you know, for the last hundred years or so, civil rights and stuff like that, that everyone gets when they come here because of the sacrifices Black Americans made, okay? You come here to make a better life for yourself, and um, from whatever country you come from, in this case, they were coming from Jamaica. It's a lot of Jamaican restaurants here in America, and they get their business mostly from Black Americans, because guess why? Jamaicans know how to cook that food already, so they're not the ones who's going out in droves to the Jamaican restaurant. Same as Black Americans, soul food. Um, soul food spots not really filled up with uh, uh, Black Americans who know how to cook soul food. No, nah, that's for people, other people, other races, white people, uh, foreigners, Jamaicans, whomever who come over here who want to try black American cuisine. Because we know how to, I don't go to soul food spots. Not all the time, because I can cook. I can cook my ass off, especially in soul food. Right? I digress. So people come over here for a better life. And that's all fine and well. But then when you get here, you get comfortable now you you doing stuff to um to fuck up the, the, what you you tried to build to come here a business right turning the music down that's a simple request I, I'm gonna tell you right now I was at a white American establishment a couple of weeks ago and I was eating some wings and the music was loud I wanted to go live I was sitting outside in the patio area and I said to the manager hey uh, would you mind turning the music down I'm about to go live and plus it's just too loud you know what they did they cut that shit off completely. They didn't change words with me, argue with me. This is a, a cultural difference is what I, I what I chuck it up to, right? They, they At the Jamaican spot, they didn't give a fuck. They kept the music loud and they lost a the customer. They lost me, definitely. And whoever else was in there, there were other people too like, yeah, you're right, it is loud, you know, behind their backs and shit. Anyway, I digress. So I agree with Darius um, when he's talking about this. And I'm going to show you the clip when he's talking about this. And how it was um, very unpleasant and very disrespectful, rude, and they really fucked with him. And I understand because they really fucked with me yesterday. Okay, yeah, well, I was on live and I showed y'all. You all saw it. But to shut up, he goes on to talk about um, his experience at this restaurant when the owner got there. Uh, you know, the owner got there and asked him to move, and how he was questioning him. Well, why do I gotta move? Or then the owner said, well, because it's, it's, a, it's a hazard. Well, what kind of hazard? What the fuck? Why are you asking somebody all these questions in their restaurant? If you don't want to move, leave. Or if you don't want to, um, you know, if you, if you like to fight them tooth and nail and, um, you know, and, and talk about them, right? It's crazy to me. You know, if they say it's a health hazard, right? They said it was a health hazard. And he's like, well, what, what kind of has it? You know, he's just drilling down, asking him all these different questions instead of just either just sitting there and accepting it 
or um, like I did with the music. I sat there and accepted it after I asked him to turn it down several times um, or leave. Then he goes on to um, when it because they were trying to get him to move tables. And then he can tell it better than I can tell it. Let me let me show you the clip and then we'll talk about it. And then we'll talk about how this interaction that he had led up to what happened to him yesterday when he almost got killed. Okay. Uh, because this is the same restaurant that he's in that I've been talking about this whole time that uh, the owner who approached him yesterday and accosted him, who snatched his phone out of his hand and probably was going to um, take him off this planet if that other phone wasn't recording. That's why I'm bringing this up. I want you to hear how he was talking about this restaurant, the same one of the owner who tried to take him off this planet yesterday. Not that he should have. I, I, I don't know as much shit as Darius talk. I, would, I don't want wish him dead. I, anyway, but um, this is the review. This is what happened. This is what led up to this man doing what he did. And then we'll talk about what the man did and what I think, um, what I think about the situation. Because it's quite different than the shit you've been hearing out there. So let's play this. This is his, this is this is how it all started. What happened yesterday with the fight with him, with this, with the owner. It started two days earlier in Miami, and this is what happened. What's up, Day? Hey, I haven't been live over here in forever. I hope the Licking Miami Gardens is watching. I'm glad. So I could talk about this trash-ass place I just fucking left. Okay? And I don't even mean to cuss like this, but I'm so... You know, here's the, the issue I have is that you're, you're a restaurant. You're, you're in the hospitality industry. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Because you're in the hospitality industry. Supposed to be hospitable, at the very least, to people. And let me tell you, so, um, you know, I'm doing this work, trying to go review all Black-owned restaurants in this country. And, you know, some places make it so fucking difficult to support. And this place is one of those places. And I'm like, it's so many times I wanted to turn around and walk away. So many times during this experience, I wanted to turn around and walk away. First of all, we go to this restaurant. All right. Y'all, it's three people, maybe four people in the restaurant. Four people in the restaurant. Why? is this music so loud at 1 30 in the afternoon uh, please help me understand it's four people in the restaurant the music is blaring y'all y'all i'm i'm not even talking about a little bit the music is bla it's blaring to the point where i literally had to ask Y'all, I just landed. Quit asking me if I've gone here, gone here. We ain't even been here three hours. We just got off the goddamn plane, okay? Um, it, I have to ask, I'm sorry. I, I Call it what you want to call it. Who can sit down and eat a meal with this music blaring in your ear left and right? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm that person. If that's going to upset you, that's just going to upset you. But I'm tired of going to these restaurants and the food ain't even that great for the music to be that goddamn loud. I think they play that music that loud to distract you from what's really going on with this mediocre food. Why is this music so loud? I The waiter, the, the girl at the counter, she, huh? What you say? You can't even hear me because the music loud. Cut this shit down. Then, no offense to sis, it's our first day. All right, it's our first day. Why is she here and the manager is not? It's beyond me. This girl don't know what the hell she doing. It's her first day. You got her on the register by herself? Okay, fine. So we're going through the menu. Granted, y'all, I don't even know what to say about this place. This place has really, I, it unvexed my whole spirit. Let me tell you why it's vexed my whole spirit. The menu options of the restaurant are bullshit, okay? Baby, they is going to fettuccine Alfredo everybody to death. 
at these restaurants. Why are these restaurants serving the same mediocre food from one place to the next? Ma'am, I don't care if you party city and dance at brunch. It's 1.30 on a Wednesday afternoon. Cut that fucking music down. It's 1.30. 1 30 on a Wednesday afternoon. Why is this music so loud? We don't want to hear this at 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm sorry. I don't know anybody who want to hear this at 1.30. So I, I, so I place the order. I'm going over the menu, trying to find a balance in the menu. Trying to find a balance. Girl, everything is fried. Don't nothing look delicious off the menu. It's basically everything is thrown together. Thrown together. Completely thrown together. And that's the, that's the issue I have with these restaurants. Some little dude on my Instagram asked me to come to his restaurant. I said, if it's an Instagram restaurant, it's not going to end well. So please, if you don't know how to cook, don't invite me to your restaurant. Y'all, I am so tired of eating shrimp and grits. I am so tired of eating fish and grits. I am so tired of chicken and waffles. I am so very tired of lamb chops and grits. It's the same food, one place to the next. Y'all, my little cousin make fried chicken better than the chicken I had at the Lincoln. It ain't even good fried chicken. It ain't even even good fried chicken for you to have this music this loud okay so here we go so we sitting down at at the spot in the restaurant right the girl said lady said yeah that's fine you can sit over there it's not a big deal right manager comes in and this is so this is the this is where where you lose me manager comes in right what up jonathan don't hey baby, me. We had all last week. We could have been married by now. We could have been like them lesbians. Them lesbians go out here and get married. Oh, I probably could bring you on my live, Jonathan. Because you couldn't figure out how to get on yours. Hold on one second. I might be able to bring you on. Ask Jonathan to join the live broadcast. I just, I'm finna bring you on. I just clicked on the adding button. The added button. Oh, it says connection failed. Oh, oh I don't know what that means. Right, let me chop one more time. That's probably your stuff, because you had a hard time last time with me. It's probably your stuff. It's you lose me, right? So the manager comes. He had been gone, or he had been out of the building, right? So the manager comes, and when the manager comes, he is immediately verbalizing and vocalizing everything that's wrong in front of us, in front of patrons. You shouldn't have did this. She shouldn't have did this. I'm going to talk to her about this. You can't sit right here. And so I, I'm asking him, what's the problem with us sitting right here? Ain't nobody in the goddamn restaurant. It's a liability. Okay, well, what's the, the liability? Because, you know, and I'm not trying to go back and forth with this man about his rules, honey, but I'm telling you, we were sitting over here at the thing, minding our business, waiting on our food. What is the problem? Why is this an issue with us sitting over here in this spot? Ain't nobody in here. You don't have table service. You don't have a waiter. So what's the problem? Well, the lights are off right here and it's dark. Okay, well, this is fine right here. I don't, is this a problem? Can we sit right here? Is that's gonna be a, that's gonna be an issue or problem? Yes, you can sit here or you can see you cannot sit here. And I said, damn, we already done sat down. We already here. Why is this a problem? Then immediately he's like, why is the who cut the music down? I said, ain't nobody even here for the music to be this loud. So so I was not in the best mood at this point. I'm going to tell you right now. I was not in the best mood. Y'all keep asking me which location. Can I tell y'all something? I the fuck don't know. Okay? I the fuck don't know where I was. Y'all keep asking me what location. Baby, I don't know. Y'all, I don't live here. We, we, we put it in the GPS. I sit on the passenger side. To the restaurant we get out the car oh, you don't hear a, an issue with that or hear a problem with that it got to the point where he asked me to leave because i'm going to tell you what i did i didn't even want to sit down anymore i'm the kind of person if you don't want me in your establishment i don't defu i don't have to be in your stuff 
I don't have to be in your restaurant. I don't have to be at your house. I don't have to be in your relationship. If you do not want me around, I don't want to be around. So I'm, I'm at this point, I'm struggling. I'm wrestling with walk out and dispute it with American Express later or get the review done, right? And it's a popular place. You know, people know about it. So it's like, I wanted to get the review done. Baby, when I tell you I stood up and ran through that fool in three seconds and the manager was in earshot. He literally was next to me as I was doing the review and I wore it out. Chicken wings, your cousin make better chicken wings. The collard greens, they not seasoned well. Literally, the egg roll, horrific. I, I wasn't holding no punches. At this point in the game, like, I don't care no more. I don't care about being nice i don't care about being accepted i don't care about what y'all think you have just literally disrespected me and my entire party not being hospitable and you think i'm gonna sit up here and give everything all your stuff high high, high marks you and this bland ass fool could go out the back door okay i'm not going to dispute the charge because i tasted the food right i'm not that stupid i'm not doing that right because I tasted the food, but at the end of the day, like the shit, it pissed me off so. But and I said, even on the review, I don't even know how the review gonna look. And if it looked too bad, I ain't gonna show it. But even on the review, I say, listen, zero out of five, come here if you want to. And I never tell y'all, don't go someplace, but do not the fuck come here. I can't even put my my I can't put any stamp behind this restaurant. None whatsoever. The food was bad, but it was the level of disrespect. Your food tastes bad. After they disrespected you. Your food tastes bad after they disrespect you. And if this is the way you treat customers, no wonder nobody was in there. If this is the way you treat people, why why people why want to come in here and eat? And not, not only that, the food ain't even good. They got tilapia on the menu and Alfredo. That tell you all you need to know. Hello? Hold on. Okay. So these comments that he left for this restaurant, this commentary, this review, this scathing review that he just left for this black owned restaurant is the reason why two days later, which was yesterday, he got ran down on. Okay. They say it was the owner of the restaurant, um, but there's some controversy about that. As far as, um, you know, it was, the, uh, you know, it was a lady who owns it and, you know, somebody's sister, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Whatever it is. Let me say this to you guys. Let me take this comment down because I want to be very clear and I don't want you to miss anything and be distracted by what's on the screen. When you go around ripping down, tearing down, talking shit about real bad businesses that have scraped and scrapped to establish themselves in the community. You know, they have great community time. You look up the, re the reviews for this restaurant, they have five-star reviews. When you, even if they had a one-star review, but when you make it your business to be extra mean and disrespectful about a Black-owned restaurant that you go to, and you put it on the internet for everybody to see it, which is going to result in that business now not getting the business possibly that it was people will skip over that one because that's what i do when i go look at few food reviews i if you have two stars or three stars or you have if you you have five stars but you have one disgruntled person i don't look at any of the positive comments ever i want to see that one negative one what happened what was the experience when you leave a scathing review like this about somebody's um uh, um business you don't know how they how they how what they had to sacrifice to get that business and businesses take time they take money they take uh it's a labor of love i know i own a few businesses they require a lot they require a lot period so when you have somebody just talking shit about your restaurant because they didn't like that the music was out i was at the jamaican spot yesterday i did not like 
that the music was loud. I was very disturbed by it. Um, but I did not go online to leave the Jamaican restaurant a bad review because that will fuck up their business. I'm not going back, but I want them to continue to get business. It's a black owned business. I, I, Jamaican or not, it's still black people. Um, I would not fuck up their business like that. I'm just not going to go back. But Darius doesn't do that. Okay. He had the option to leave. I had the option to leave just for the music alone. But instead, he decided to question them, drill down, badger them about that. And then about, you know, a number of other things too, you know, the music and then um, the location of where they were sitting, you know, they at, he at, was asked to move and he didn't like it. So now, now he got his, as, as the old people say, now he got his ass on his shoulders. He's mad. Okay. And he even said it, you know, now I'm disturbed. Okay. You could have just left, but he didn't. So the food, got, the food arrives and he decides to eat, you know, some of each piece. And now he's being very malicious. He's going live and he's letting everybody know, don't eat this. This tastes like shit. This ain't shit. They ain't shit. Don't ever come here. And he said that he was saying it within the earshot of the manager. He was talking loud enough for the manager to hear it. When you do shit like that, see, I don't take my maliciousness offline with Carmen and Tam. I've never been to anywhere they are. Um, I've never been to one of Carmen food stands and was like, oh, this is now and went there. You know what I'm saying? To fuck with her or at, at all, period. But go there to fuck with her. Talk about how burnt up her food is and go live and do that. I've never done that. That's what the fuck you want about me. I've never done that. Um, but Darius, this is what he does. He goes to these establishments and he talks cold like cash shit about them um, very, very viciously. And it was only a matter of time before somebody ran down on that ass. Oh, yes. And it ain't going to be the last time. Trust me. See, when you are reviewing restaurants and critiquing restaurants, the reason that Keith Lee is so successful, he has way more followers than Darius and gets way more likes on his on his um, posts and stuff like that, his reviews. And everybody knows who he is, even before the whole candy thing, you know, with her restaurant. But um, the reason mostly is because he's um, he doesn't do reviews like he doesn't rip down black businesses or businesses, period, but most especially black businesses. We have it hard enough as a black business owner to run things smoothly, you know, especially when you have limited resources, meaning people, you know. Um, but to go and to put your mouth on someone's business in that way and while you're in their establishment at that going live and then go and write about it online and put it all over. Um, is the reason that he got ran down on. Now, I'm not saying that they should have ran, that they should have killed, you know, try to take his life and all that, but this ain't going to be the first time. And the more he does this, the more people going to run down until it, he's done. You know what I'm saying? Until he's not here anymore. And that's going to be a very unfortunate thing. Cause like I said, I don't want anyone to, to die over their opinion, but, um, the way he, the way Darius does it is, first of all, he's he's a drama queen. We all know this. He knows this. He cops to this. So he, he adds to the drama queenness, the messiness of all that. And then, you know, the maliciousness, you know what I'm saying? The mean, you know, little fat boy that maybe got bullied when he was in school before he had the, you know, the lap band surgery and all that stuff. You know, he probably got bullied all the time. And now his job is... Now that he got some money, he got some coins, and, you know, he lost some pounds, and he has a following, um, now what he's doing is tearing down black businesses one by one. And don't fucking tell me how could you tear down black businesses if the, the food is nasty and and, and, and the, rest, the, the restaurant, you know, the service is poor. Just don't review them. There's a thought. Don't fucking talk about them. I'm sure Keith Lee goes to restaurants that are uh, uh, zero out of five. But we never know about it because they don't make the cuts. They don't make the final cut for the video at all or the cut period. They don't get mentioned. And that's really how you let a business know that they are not um, on the level. Not by leaving scathing reviews. Don't leave any review. They know you were there and they didn't see their name pop up under one of your favorites. Then they know they got work to do. That's how you let a person know. But actually talking cold cash shit. Like some of these restaurants owned by gang members. Be careful, sweetheart. <laughs> some of these restaurants out here owned by gang members and they're not fucking playing with you at all. You meaning whomever. And um, there's a way to go about talking about a business and establishment that you have visited that you didn't like. Either don't do it at all. That way they know. Oh, shit. He didn't even talk about us. We got work to do. We need to tighten up. 
Don't do it at all. Don't do the review at all. Or if you do the review, you can find some things that were pleasant about the review. But but when Darius did his review review of this restaurant, it was revenge. It was revenge for the loud music. It was revenge for asking him to move his seat. For what? We already sitting here. Darius, Darius owned two fucking restaurants. He's uh, This is the irony of it all. He owned two restaurants which got closed down. But now you're going around talking about and critiquing restaurants. Huh? Okay, boy. <laughs> okay, boy. Um, not just that. Just don't, like I said, just don't fucking talk about it. But going out of your way to rip down a black owned, y'all know I support businesses. I'm a huge business advocate, especially black owned businesses. Going out of your way to, to rip down a black owned business because you mad because they asked you to move your seat or the music was too loud. Now you just being spiteful and malicious and you put an extra stank on that shit. Of course, somebody going to run down on you and probably do worse than that at some point in time. I hope not, but I'm pretty sure it's coming because. You, you, yeah, you got have to find a better approach. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. I agree. Praise hands. Um, I do good and bad reviews. I review many places monthly. I have made a few bad reviews as well. Listen, so has I. So have so has I. So have I. I've been places that I didn't like. And um, because of the food, because not because I had a vendetta against them or grudge against them because they asked me to move or now I'm pissed and I'm all got my ass on my shoulders. Now I'm going to leave you a fucked up review. I've left bad reviews or not so great reviews for places. And I actually told you what it was about the food that I didn't like. If it was too salty, if it was overcooked, if it was whatever it was, right? If it was a cupcake, uh, I've left you know, a bad review for a cupcake place one time, you know, the, the, um, the icing was very bitter. And I said that I gave them the appropriate level of stars, but to actually go in, this ain't shit. They ain't shit. Don't eat this shit. This is this, this, I mean, no, no. Um, Miss Betty said he is a cook in capital letters, not a certified chef or restaurant owner. So how? Is he an expert to critique other restaurants? Plus, he hasn't received any national awards for his cooking. Lastly, he has failed at operational. He has failed at operational several several businesses. True. And I'm not saying that he can't leave. Uh, and then he tagged them in it. Exactly. Yeah. Then he tagged them in it. This is the this is that gay pettiness. Come on, can we talk? Can we keep it real? Can we keep it a fucking buck? This is that gay man pettiness. You know what I'm saying? When he feels like he's been slighted, which he really wasn't, because you know they real sensitive. That's the thing I don't get about the alph alphabet community. <laughs> Nobody can talk about the fucking alphabet community because now you anti-gay, you this, that, 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 that. But the alphabet community be out here running a motherfucking muck, doing all kinds of fuckery out here in the streets. Huh? I'm going to talk about any of these motherfuckers, anybody I want to at any motherfucking time on this page if they out here acting fucking crazy not just for no reason you know what i'm saying but if you out here tearing down black owned businesses and you're a black person who failed at two uh restaurants but you out here fucking over restaurants with the one of the reviews and, and tearing them down this is not constructive criticism huh that's what i'm talking about constructive criticism that's totally different then um just on some some rage shit you just you just mad and pissed and now you you got a grudge and a vendetta so now you're going to leave nasty scathing reviews for this restaurant that's called revenge and um you know no it's not cool let's see indeed gay man pettiness um i remember when you told that guy how to make his banana pudding better but you never talk shit about the man. That's a good example. I didn't even think about that. I was already on live. So I didn't go live. He went live to, you know, to do this restaurant and, and talk shit about them. I told him how to get his bananas to not be black um, for his banana pudding. Um, I told him and I gave him constructive criticism. I didn't just tell him that the bananas are black. I told him how to, how to keep his bananas from turning black. Use a plastic spoon. So I gave him constructive criticism with feedback to improve. 
Um, that's not what Darius does. He goes, he eats something. And, and even if the food is good, he's stuck on, you know what I'm saying? To a server who wasn't kissing his ass or whatever it may be, or whatever little thing he finds to pick and, and poke about. And he highlights that it makes it that, but if you're going to talk about how something tastes, then um, how about talk about what it should be or, or talk to the owner and, and give the, you know what I'm saying? The constructive um, feedback, but that's not what he does. Cause that that's not what get the clicks, likes, and views. It's the shock value. It's the cussing out. It's the tearing down of a black owned business that um, has, you know what I'm saying? That's that that's the issue. Um, Terrence said, "I'm from the Alphabet community and agree with you 100%." Nanny, you can't talk about the Alphabet community. Shit, it's bad. You a corporate baby? Gay people have more rights in a corporate working environment than black people, okay? Than minorities. They have a lot of rights, and they should have protected rights. I'm not saying they shouldn't. I, I'm glad that they do. But you can't say hardly say shit about a gay person without people calling you uh, homophobic or, you know what I'm saying, calling it out in the gay community, getting mad and talking shit and blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, you motherfuckers out here talking all kinds of shit going crazy and ballistic on restaurant owners and then act a surprise when you get ran down on because you let this scathing review tag them in it and um, knew that they were following your page. So I'm like, oh, oh, they on, they following me right now. Good, I'm glad you're here. And then proceeded to talk cold cat shit about them. No. Uh-uh. Um, and plus, what's good to him does not necessarily mean, you know what I'm saying, that it may not be good to me and vice versa. Um, that's the difference. Black people have worked extremely hard. And to have someone tear it down, as Darius does, is very extreme. We've all had bad experiences before, and it's okay to voice it. But Darius made it to where no one wants to visit the establishment based on how he feels or the slight taste of food. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. And that's exactly right. And it's exactly true. Um, why doesn't he review other nationality restaurants? Well, when you talk about... Okay, so I only do, for our restaurant runs, Black-owned biz, black owned restaurants, okay? Um, because the point of that, the point of focusing on Black-owned, when you, especially when you're Black, is to highlight and give credit to these black owned businesses to put them in the spotlight um, in a good way and um, to bring attention to their restaurant, to give some history on the restaurant. That's what we do. We do the history piece of it mostly, largely is a big piece of ours for the, our restaurant runs. Um, that's why you focus on black owned because you. I'm focusing on my own. I'm focusing on black owned restaurants. I'm gonna let the world know what's up because we out here. We got good food. We got good service. We are bomb as fuck, and we don't get the press that we deserve. So I'm focusing on black owned restaurants. That's usually the mindset of people who focus on black owned businesses, black owned restaurants, black owned things. Okay, on their page. But to be focused on black, be focused on black owned restaurants. And you out here tearing them motherfuckers out one by one. No, that goes against everything. Um, you know, that's the purpose of highlighting black owned restaurants. If you don't like one, don't put it on your show. Don't talk about it. Don't get the memo. We ain't make it. Oh, we got we he ain't like it. But to, to, to deter everyone else from going there, especially when you want some revenge petty shit, is wrong. Um, we as black people have to use our own judgment and not go by one person's opinion. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, that is all. What goes around as black people, who goes around as a black person to tear down black businesses of any kind? Thank you. Exactly. That defeats the whole purpose of focus, focus, the whole purpose of focusing on black businesses. And if you're talking about, well, the review will make them better. No, what will make them better is if you don't like it, don't air it and go talk to them and tell them what you didn't like. And that's it. Because you're not you, you you're not building up a black owned business. You're tearing that shit down by doing that. But you can build it up by not showing it and telling them what you didn't like and moving on and showing the next one that you do like. That's it. Or even you, you don't like one. You could talk about that, too. But to the extent that he went, that's next level. 
Um, let's see. If you dislike a gay person, you are going to make the narrative that you are just homophobic. It never crosses their mind. I don't like them because they're an asshole. Right. Exactly. Right. Don't ruin their business. Tammy said, hey, Tammy, he couldn't get away with that with a Korean restaurant. He probably wouldn't even make it out of there that's messing with people's livelihoods. It's 100%. When you are critiquing a restaurant or a business and you're talking about it, um, and you, you, you know, don't get the egg foo young. I didn't like that, but I did like, you know what I'm saying? The beef stir fry, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Something constructive, something that's not going to ruin uh, or close their business down. Why the fuck would you want to close down a black owned business as a black person? All right, listen, let me get off of here. Cause I got shit to do. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I will be, um, I'll be on, what's today? I'll be on tomorrow, Sunday. Um, Thursday for Thanksgiving, I will be volunteering as I do every year I've done for the past, I don't know how many years, 20 years. Um, but since I've been in Georgia for the last 12 years, I've, I've done it here. I will be volunteering my time cooking up hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of turkeys. Um, on Thanksgiving Eve and all the trimmings, mashed potato, all that stuff. Um, uh, in conjunction and, in, in, um, partnership with, um, one of the big charities out here in Georgia. Uh, I'll be cooking the turkeys and cooking all that food and stuff, um, for the homeless. And then you'll see me Thursday working the feeding lines or even setting up beforehand. Cause a lot of times I get to the, this huge, massive, event space that they have. They usually have it like at um, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Like it's a big deal. Um, so I'll get there early and um, join the team to set up um, maybe the barber station because they give barber shops. So you're homeless and you, um, you know, are looking for a meal. This is a great way to get a, a really nice meal. Get your hair cut by professional barbers. There will be tons of clothes there. Um, all arranged days before by size, color, children's sections, women's sections, women career sections for homeless people. Um, you know, all this, you know, we go days before and, and get all the donations that's been collected throughout the year and set up all these long tables, rolls and rolls and racks and racks of clothing. Uh, and then once you do all that, you make your way over and you get something really good to eat. Green beans, mashed potatoes, um, cornbread, yams, definitely turkey, all that stuff. I do this every year. Unlike some people whose name I will not call, I genuinely like doing things for people, like for real. This is what makes my heart flutter and so full is doing stuff for people who cannot do things for themselves. I've always been this way. Always, always. I just don't get on camera to show you, oh, I'm doing this today. Oh, I did this for these people. Oh, I did this for this homeless person. Oh, I did this. I do things all the time off camera. And as long as I get my credit from God, that's all I'm worried about. Sometimes I'll show you guys, like Thursday, I'll show you guys, because I know a lot of you won't be with your family and doing things. Um, you'll be home. So I'll go live, probably for my private group, I'll show it. We're not taking new people in a private group. We haven't been for months. So. Okay, more than two months. Um, yeah, we're removing people, not letting people in as we find people who are being double agents and shit. So, but um, listen, let me hop off of here because I have a lot to do. Nandy need no one to co-sign. You right about that shit. Um, you all have a lovely rest of the day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, why are people why are people so invested in his opinion? He make money on other people not liking what he does. If the same, if someone tells you about someone before you meet them, you still make your own opinion. No, this is not that. This is not that, Stephanie. This is not someone telling you, oh, uh, I don't like her, so watch out for her. No, this is someone telling you, it's like someone saying, oh, no, that bitch right there is, is a demon. She's devious. She She's this, she's that. And um, stay clear away from this person if you know any, if you have any sense about yourself whatsoever. I mean, of course, you might avoid that person or you might get to know them, but you're still going to have that in the back of your mind. Um, this is this is something different. This is a black owned restaurant that got completely trashed, disrespected. 
I can't even say thrown under the bus, thrown under, and then they drove over it and backed it up and drove over it again and backed it up and drove over it again. I mean, completely obliterated this business and, um, and, and told people don't ever go there. <laughs> so this is not that. I'm late, Sai. We talked about um, setting your notifications and resetting. You guys, make sure you reset your notifications the way that I showed you how to do it on this live. That's very important so that you don't miss future lives. I will be live. I don't know if it's, it'll be tonight for the night crew, but um, but it'll be real soon. If you have not ordered your um, your units, they are on sale right now. All right. They are on sale. Go to hotelsweetlife.com. It's on the bottom of the screen to purchase an Insta Bridge unit. They're only $85. This is one of them. My hair looks flawless. You never know. I could switch out my hats, my caps, etc. And you would never know. All right. So make sure you get one. Thank you to all of you who purchased one. Please know that I'm working very, very hard to get yours to you before Thanksgiving. All right. So I'm using FedEx as the mode of delivery. Um, for most of you. And um, yeah, we're doing two day shipping. So, uh, and shipping's free. So I'm, I'm incurring the cost for that. <laughs> all right. So uh, shipping's free and they're on sale right now. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for joining and for participating and engaging. And I will see you on the next episode of Mandy at the Dark. Bye.